Hi everybody. This question here says that when solving a system of equations, one of the equations is, and then we give you this guy right here, so it's a little ugly here, x over 2 minus y over 3 is equal to 1. A substitution which can be made is, okay, so we're, we're saying here that we are, are going to do substitution, so we're going to have to isolate one of these variables. Now, if you look at your options here, ugh, I, I, it doesn't really give me an indication of which one I should be isolating. So we got to choose. Now, I think normally what most people would do is choose to solve for y here. So we're going to start with that. So let me write this out again. x over 2 minus y over 3 is equal to 1. Now, I can see right now that my common denominator, okay, or the, if you want to think of it like this, the, the smallest common multiple between 2 and 3 is going to be 6. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation through by 6 here. When I multiply this fraction here by 6, I'm going to be left with 3x. The 2 will cancel. 6 divided by 2 is 3. When I do that with the same term here, 6 multiplied by y divided by 3 is just going to leave me with a 2y, and that'll be equal to, to uh, 6 right there, 6 times 1. Each term gets multiplied through by 6. And notice that now I don't have a fraction. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate one of these variables here. Uh, now I, I'm doing it this way right now because I think it's the easiest to, to manipulate from here and then and then uh, we'll figure out what later on what's going on. Um, yeah, actually now that I look at those, well, I'm gonna still run with it this way. What I'll do is I will I will fix some of this stuff here in a second. Let's isolate the y first. So negative two y is gonna equal negative three x plus six, and then I'm gonna divide by negative two, and that'll get me three halves, positive three halves, x minus three. Now, let's just take a quick look at the places that have got y isolated. Well, I'm not I'm not seeing that right there, but let's you know what, let's multiply these things through first and see if anything matches with this cuz these are in point slope form. So this is going to equal when you multiply that half through, 1 half times 3x is going to be 3x over 2. Okay, well there's the 3 halves that I was looking for. But a half times -1 is -1/2. Okay, well that's not it cuz I'm looking for -3. Here this would be 3x over 2. Okay, that's again, that's consistent with the slope that I'm getting. And then 1 half of negative 6, boom, there it is, negative 3. There's the, there's the equation, same equation that I found right here. Now, just to be clear that those other two aren't the correct values here, let's take a quick look here and let's solve this thing for x. So 3x bring the 2y over is going to equal 2y plus 6 divide by 3 and I'll get x is equal to 2 thirds y plus 2. Now let's just make sure that these two guys here don't actually match that. So if you multiply here, multiply that 1 third through, I will get x is equal to 2y over 3 which is the correct slope and then 1 third times 1 is going to be 1 third. That's not it. Okay. If I go here and multiply that through, I am going to get x is equal to 3y over 2, which is the uh, sorry, which is totally the incorrect slope here. It doesn't really matter what else happens, okay? Uh, and it's going to be plus 3 at the end here. This is not the correct slope here. It should be this one. This one goes away. The only answer here that makes any sense is d.